back everyone to my luther harkin campaign to let you know i'm not going to hold on to the region called the capes if i do that it'll take me a very long time to fully subjugate the area i'd rather move on to conquer other areas and again i would probably keep it but i don't want mad dog marty to move way down here we'll get it later all right robbie the creeper you've got to get your skill point Let's go look at what you have right now, right over here, my friend. At level 15, I'm going to give you Blunderbuss level 2. At level 3, he won't have a range penalty anymore. And now, Luther Harkin, time for you to go into battle. I'll be able to get a new regiment of renown, too. My Gallows Giant. Oh, and every ship upgrade I'm going to pick up will be one to reduce upkeep. I can't really afford a new army yet, not one worth anything at all. I'll probably need a cheap army before I can afford a true powerful army. That way they can kind of move around to keep the peace. All right, here we go. Enjoy the craziness of Luther Harkin. That mob of reptilian scoundrels traveled far for their precious gold. It must be important. What are they hiding? What secrets does it contain? The winds of magic have shunned me for too long. My thoughts constantly at odds with one another. All the while, those vulgar slant-toed priests conjure great spells for their futile causes. And now, they hide behind a glyph enchanted tower. I must reconnect with my powers. I must silence the voices in my head. Over Deckard, bring me that slam gold, or I'll send you back to your watery graves. Me too, buddy. Okay, let's get into it now. So I've got artillery. We need to move up all my artillery together. Necrofax is you too. Route the enemy. All right. Be mindful of enemy reinforcements. They'll come behind me then. Understandable. I get it. Necrofaxes, I want you to move up too. All of you just move up. Go into guard mode. And for my front lines, I'm going to have my sirens move up. In addition to my death guard on my left and right flanks. That should do it. I shouldn't need much more help than that. Yeah. All of you will join in together. And for my pikes, or my pole arms, I want you to be right behind us all. Yeah. That way, if we have a major enemy to react to, you can get them. Luther Harkin will move up and attack too. Creepy Carry and Sam Jenkins. Not Sam. Sam Jenkins. I said Sam with a D. Weird. We're going to have you move up too. They're not going to make it to us without losing most of their army. Wow. That's a really bad place to be in, man. We'll use our special abilities, too, for fun. Oh, later. Okay, Luther Harkin, why don't you use your special ability, your Sword of Cain? I might wait to use it over here instead. Let's have a look. That is a pretty big mob. My lord is under attack. Here comes enemy reinforcements right now. All right, let's get ready then. You can come over here. Rotting Leviathan, I want you over here too. You'll guard my left flank. Horned Ghouls, right flank. Creepy Carry, you'll join in too. Sam Jenkins, what about you, pal? You'll be okay. Buff up whoever is nearby. You can give more powder to Queen Bess. She always needs it. She likes to eat. I mean, if you want to shoot at him, good luck. He's going to kill all of you. All right, gunners, go after their skinks right now. It'll be a very easy fight. Let them all shoot their volleys together, and they'll break. Much like that, yeah. A lot like that. Yeah, go kill their temple guard. Temple guard has got to go. Can't let them stay. All right, they're gone. Now, why don't you go shoot their temple guard? 
They're not quite back at my new line over here. They're still moving. I could get Luther to go kill them. You know what, Luther, go have fun. You're very scary. We're gonna let you go kill everyone. Creepy carry, come over here. Oh yeah, if you wanna charge in, go charge in. I'm gonna move my artillery now. Mortar move over here. Queen Bess, turn around. Necrofex is you too. You can move faster, come on. It's a pretty fun battle. I mean, we're certainly very powerful now. We won't lose it. There's no way to lose it. Go shoot their skanks again. You got it. Oh, hold on. What are you doing? Are you trying to hit my poor gunners? What did they ever do to you? Ooh, look at that group. They're all smushed together. I like that. Let's hit them. There we go. Not a bad start. We're going to hit them again. Luther's going to move in, then use his sword of cane right in the middle of all of it. Very well. Enjoy. We'll go shoot that feral carnosaur. They have cold ones on the way too. But for now, I want my Necrofexus to hit that feral carnosaur. Queen Bess, I want you to keep on attacking over here in the middle of their infantry. Do they have any temple guard? I don't actually know. Yeah, go kill the feral. Pole arms, you're gonna hold position. What about the front lines over here? No, we've largely won. There's only like a few left to kill. PP carry won his battle too. Gunnery White, move over to my front lines. I'm gonna give more ammunition over to Queen Bess again. Oh, look at that. Rod of the Storm. Cool. We're gonna use it right over here. And I can use my Van Guy's Revenge too for even more damage. It's gonna shoot right through them. Later, everyone. I love that ability so much. It's really cool. All right, who's hitting my front lines now? Cold ones? Okay, not a big deal. I'll take care of it. All of you are done. Creepy Carry's gonna move back to my left flank. He's gonna run interception if need be. All right, Mortar, you can hit back over here. Queen Bess, you too. Go after their infantry. A lot of their units are dead already. We'll go hit that Carnosaur again. My Gunners will move back too to go hit that Carnosaur. I think that might be important. Yeah, keep on attacking, you got it. Here's another Carronade. All right, my sword isn't ready yet. That's all right. Let's go after that freaking Carnosaur, man. How terrifying. It's a big one. All right, Creepy Carry, you can move in to go take it out. Luther's gonna move back now. Everyone back here is finally gone. They're not gonna come back. Good, let's come on over to the left flank. I think we need that. It's crazy because I don't have a lot of magic to support my army. That's actually from a character. It's all from my ship. Okay, more ammo to a Necrofex. Here's another big hit in the middle of their formation. And Luther Harkin, or Harkon, whatever. He's coming over here. Roddick Leviathan, go join him. Gunners, I want you to go shoot what then? Oh, right, that Basilodon. Go kill that. Okay, we don't need like a huge formation now, do we? Not really. Sirenes, you can move up. You can help me hold where I'm at. Oh, spell casting. Okay. Is that what we're doing today? It is. Now, I really gave it a bit of thought before I began our current part. I wanted to make sure that I could easily handle my enemies. If I try to overextend, it's going to be quite difficult and not in a positive way. It's just going to take me a very long time to keep the peace. So I would much rather go after Lustria than having to sell across the water take a location. I could go burn it down. Now, that is another option. I could go burn it down, which I might do. That way, Tankless is unable to maintain power over there. We've won the battle. The battle's now over. Yeah, we didn't lose a lot. We completely butchered them. We lost how many? 33. They lost how many? <laughs> Everything. So now the mind of Luther Harkin is united. And he's got a sword of cane.
Holy shit. I'm a little bit frightened for everyone else here. It was never I'll take your money. All done now. Luther's mind restored. Having long sought the means to regain his former spellcasting abilities, Luther's desire to repair his damaged mind has finally been realized. For years, the mental instabilities caused by his multiple personalities have prevented him from wielding the winds of magic, but no more. The lore of the deep eludes him no longer. All shall fear the Pirate King more than they ever have before. <laughs> All right. We did it. Look at that. We can even decrease their magic. More magic resistance again. Slant gold. And raise dead cost goes down by 50%. Another job done. At level 40, I'm going to give you tenacity. Take that. And Sam Jenkins, what about you, pal? Pyromaniac. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Alright, we're going to keep you here for right now. Mad Dog Marty. Sure, I want you to build that. Don't get me wrong. But I also want you to kind of move on. I could keep you there for right now. I suppose I will. All right, fine. Wait there. Build up what you need to. Chupiotl, no rebellion yet. Good. Let's go look over here. So we're going to want to burn that down. I wouldn't be able to hold that location anyway. Yeah, that wouldn't be doable. We're going to have a rebellion over here at the altar of the Horned Rat. We still don't have the positive relations here to keep people going. Or what I can do... Oh, good idea. Share the spoils. I'll do that. We lose infamy, but I've got a lot of infamy. I'm not worried about that at all. All right, let's go look at what we can build that might help out more growth. Now, that would limit enemy actions. I like that. We're going to take one of these over here. Yeah. I don't really need a new military building. The only one I really want would be to get that army ability. So we're going to take that instead. I'm not going to build up a new army yet. I don't have the money for it. I really don't. I really don't. Luther Harkin is finally ready to go attack again. Let's go after... Let's see. Would I want to burn it down? Yeah, I would want to burn it down. If we get rid of what they have in the middle, we can move around. Itza would need to not attack me yet. Me too, buddy. I too am the Pirate King. So we're going to move over here real quick. We're going to burn down two locations. We're going to leave Itza alone. Going after Itza would be fantastic. It really depends. Actually, hold on. Let me think about this real quick. So if I come down here, that would be kind of annoying, but it would be a very linear path. The dwarves are attacking me. So I do want them gone. They'll have to go away. Going after Itza would give me some power for sure. So if I take Oxel and then go after Itza, we could conquer here. We could move you over here to Guacmole. Itza later. I wouldn't have an army to defend up here, but we have walls at least. That'll help me out. Teclis will eventually move up here. We can look at one major army up north. The Blue Vipers are falling apart. Mad Dog Marty is not up here right now. We'll need him to quickly move up to help me out. We could ignore the Tomb Kings. I don't know if they're coming to fight me yet. They could be. They could be. Sure, sure. Alright, so... I suppose that's what we can do. That's in our turn. Luther Harkin is now more powerful than ever. We're going to have Maggie Blackcell go on to go bother Teclis. It's crazy how powerful he is. If he begins to confederate with Lothar, that could be a problem for me, for sure. We're going to see if we can actually get to them before they can do that. That would be the best goal ever. Oh, their agents. Yeah, their agents are going to be able to do a lot to me, too. Hinder replenishment. Still technology. Still technology will slow down my technology. Or my rate of researching. I'll have to get some technology to increase my public order. If I remember one, there's like one called like Dominion Over Man or something that gives me plus two to public order. So we can grab that too. Then, hey, maybe we've got a chance at uniting the world. So, let's go. Ooh, more ammo for my artillery. Even better. All right. Back over here, 90%. Yeah, that isn't great. That isn't great at all. I'm going to go take... Not that for now. Even though it's only two turns, I need to go focus on other things. Ah, here we go. Dominion over mortals. The small folk will obey if they wish to live. 
All right, there's a skull reef, and those are handy, but I need actual income coming in. So, ooh, hello, who the hell are you? Interesting. That could be a very challenging battle for me. Where did you even come from? What the hell, man? All right, what do I want now? I'll take that, that'll give me some more money. It's not a lot, but hey, heads up. I do have a cove over here, so it does spread a little bit of corruption. That's very helpful, I'm sure. I would lose that if I were to get rid of it. Alright, we'll have to get fighter. Oh boy, that's going to be a really costly battle in terms of lives. As long as we land it, it doesn't really matter. I can always recruit more, but we just have to win it. Take your wild eyed. I suppose we will take this location then. Come on. Okay, no one died outright. Very good. We're going to uh, occupy it because I don't want to actually downgrade it. So we're going to grab a wall. I'm going to get rid of this building real quick. We're going to keep the, can the cannery shed. And uh, Subatoon is what we'll go after later. What about over here? You don't have any carronades, nor a Necrofex. So you do need... Yeah, we have three, so we're about to go fight that battle. Before we fight that battle, though, we've got another target to go after. Dear God, you're level 30? That's a pretty high level, buddy. Money's currently going up. Good. Tier 5, we'll take that. Ooh, they're still not happy down here, are they? No, they're not. Okay, Citadel, I can't unite you. Let's go out and fight Mad Dog Marty. Oh, man. Look at that army. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, let's just go in. I'm not going to even look at the map. We're just going to have to deal with it. I better win it. That's like the really crazy part, too. I can't afford to lose a lot of fights. It would set me back. I mean, can I come back from that? Sure. But would it set me back? Absolutely. It would set me back. So we want them to kind of be bunched up together. We want them to kind of come towards me. The Flamesfire Phoenixes will be annoying. They're going to hit me really hard. Although, there's a lot more magic for me. Good. So if we look at it right now, I can move back further. That would protect me. That would protect me. They would have to come right through here. I could charge out after that. We'll just use what's over here on my left flank, so that'll work. All right, Sirenes, I know that you can take a lot of damage. We're going to put you about here. I do have a Carronade group. Two Necrofaxes, too. My deck gunners will have to kind of be about here. They don't have the range, right? 245? Actually, do they? Oh, they do. Ooh, yeah, they'll be able to get some nice hits in. Good, good. Okay. Death Guard, I want one of you kind of over here. I don't want them to hit you from behind. That would be scary, wouldn't it? Okay. Pole Arms, you're going to be back here, too, whenever those Phoenixes come down. Morgul's, you'll be back here. Rotting Prometheans, you're going to help me hold the line later or just charge up. Doesn't really matter. Go into a guard mode. You're going to be in the middle supporting everyone. Wendy, you're going to summon in a few zombies in the very beginning. That's how you're going to help us out. So you two will be together. And that's going to be our formation. But yeah, we want her to bring in zombies as quickly as she's able to. They can really help us hold things back. They're going to come towards me. They don't really have a choice. They've got to. Go kill the sisters for me. Ladies, hello. Have you met my cannonballs? I found your friends. They're kind of here and there and over there. Eventually, they'll want to move towards me. I'm not going to move towards them. Chasing them down would be awful. Could you imagine? Ugh. Go hit a few of them with another ability. There we go. Now they're like, ah, we got to go. That was a decent pounding. Okay, Necrofexes will be able to get some hits in. I'm going to buff them up whenever they can all shoot. Like my deck gunners, too. Okay, it's time, I believe. She's right over here, bring in some zombies, because she's got a cooldown, so we want to make sure that they're hitting the zombies. It's a great way to distract them. We just want them to be in range of my deck gunners, then we can just have them charge in. Alright, they're attacking now, and we know what to do. Buff them all up. Good luck now. A lot of you. 
Attack over here. Swordmasters are pretty nasty. Go kill them too. Zombies are moving in. We've got a Phoenix coming over on the right flank. Oh yeah, look at that damage. I don't have a Queen Bess here to help me out. That is some pretty intense damage, isn't it? Another zombie. We'll send them out too. We've already killed a lot of them. Let's make sure that we're hitting stuff that actually needs to be hit. Like these over here, we're going to go after... Let's see. Let's have a look real quick. What would be good to hit? Oh yeah, we're taking so much damage right now. That's really bad. Wow. You're hurting my heart. Might need to get that checked out later. All right. Yeah, that magical damage is not fun for anyone. Come up. Rotting Prometheans, come up. Hit him over here. Necrofaxes, I want you to hit over here too. Go hit here and here. Right. A Phoenix just came in. A bunch of them just came in. So let's go kill them. Let's go hit them right now. So it's about time for me to move in, I think. We're going to go attack a few targets. Right now. Rotting Prometheans, come in. We got to go hit them. Then we got to go after the rest of our units too. I might lose a few things, as I said before, but that's just part of the game, man. Part of the game. What happens? Life is tough like that. Can I help you? You're moving forward. Why? Can you not? All right, go shoot over here. Now, they have a lot more ammo than I do, so I'm going to have to just charge in after we take care of these phoenixes. Yeah, they've got to go, so we're going to go kill them. More ghouls. I think they're pretty much done. Let's get over here now. Let's go charge in at a few targets. Put you in guard mode. What the fuck are you doing? Let's go in, everyone. Come on. Time for all of you to go. Give them more ammo. And go. Let's give like everyone a pretty decent target. So you'll come here. You'll come over here. Running Prometheans, you're still fighting here. They're going to lose a lot. I already can see that now. They're still fighting in a big, big group. They're making my day pretty nasty. Bunch of a-holes. Here comes my gunnery white. Grenade! Go get him, pals. Alright, do you have more zombies to bring in? You do. Yes. She said yes already. Heal up my death guard. They're t losing too much. Let's come over here now. Alright, rotting Prometheans, come over here now. We gotta go try to hit every unit. I thought they would just kind of like run away, but they didn't. Not that time. Come over here too. I know you're fighting here. Let's go in. We gotta get everyone out. Come into melee. You gotta go into melee and fight. What about you, pal? You're out in the middle of it. Cool. You don't need a potion yet, do you? Okay, good work. Morn ghouls, they're beating the shit out of everyone, so that's good. Come over here to hit. Gotta watch out for all these fucking, uh, hold on. Let's go shoot these Planeswire Phoenixes. We can kill them off. Alright. As for you two, you two can go charge in as well. There's a few who are still out there trying to hit us, but uh, we can go get them. I like how he's just kind of moving forward. That's pretty funny. Alright, Deck Gunners, go after this Planeswire Phoenix. You do what you need to, pal. Alright, let's go into a zoom in cinematic mode just so we can check things out real quick. So Robbie's fighting. He's killed 14, so not like a ton, but he's doing his part. My Necrofexes, they've hit a lot. Let's go after... Actually, just go shoot that Planeswire. Fuck that thing. A lot of my units are moving in. Very good. Let's go heal up a unit. That's taking a lot of damage. Like my Death Guard. They need a lot of help. My Sirens are falling apart, but that's understandable. That's okay. We're still hitting that one Planeswire Phoenix. Good. My artillery is having some issues today. Luther Harkin would have had an easy time here. I guess to show you that I actually have a proper challenge now. And it's called the High Elves. Have you heard of the High Elves? Unfortunately. Unfucking fortunately. Hit that group real quick. We've hit them everywhere, so now it's just a matter of time before they all collapse. My more goals are destroying them. That's beautiful. Their anti-large doesn't really matter that much. Not here. Nope, all of you need to go in and fight. If you're not killing, you're not doing your job. You're over here fighting. I see that now. I better give you like some rotting leviathans or something nice. I think that's going to be a need. That gunner's attack over here. You'll take care of them. Come over here to attack. These guys haven't been moving. Not everyone's moving as they should. 
All right, more goals. Are you done? No, nope, you're not done. Come over here. They're exposed. There's only like 47 of them. You can easily get them. Sirens, come over here. Go get the sisters real quick. Necrofexes, you'll come up. Let's get you to come after that flame fire phoenix. Carronades, keep on attacking. Let me make sure everyone's attacking something, right? They're all beginning to break, though. That's really good. I think they're going to actually lose everything, even if I don't chase them down. So that's good to know, too. Shoot over here. There's some more sisters. Go kill them. We won the battle now. Battle's over. That was some extra hefty work for me, but we did it. Holy shit, man. They had all those archers, and they were not going to run out of ammo. I was. <laughs> that was the big change. Yeah, look at those kills. Sisters and Lothard Sea Guards. They're like, no matter what I did, I would have to fight something in fucking uh, range. Necrofexus did a great job. I lost, what, Sirenes, and that's it. There is only my How much money? 2,000? Okay, I'll take that. Alright, we won. Now we can bring him over here to Chupoyoto. Alright, level 14. What am I going to give you, pal? There's a lot I can give you, sure, but um, why don't we give you a few things, like Rotting Promethean. There's just so many abilities for a lord to pick up. It takes time to get them all, man. I'll take a bloated corpse for fun. Let's go look at my other battles. I've got like one to fight over here with Trusty Monford. So we are going to take this location. Now that I know that we're going to have to eat some. Should look over here. You're going to lower your upkeep by 5%. Oh, that's going to help a lot. Yeah, look at his cost. It's very high right now, so we need him to go do that. All right, so we'll take that location. We have Oxial or whatever. Sitting a little of time I do not have, unfortunately. If Mad Dog Marty went after the Tomb Kings, we could take that too. Would it still be like a very long war? Absolutely. Yeah, we want that to get to tier three. We want to cause some issues for everyone, especially for their agents. Their agents are going to cause a headache for me. So every complete province that's currently under my control, I'm just going to boost up their public order by plus five. So we can maintain the peace somehow. Somehow we'll do it. It's a goal of mine. Still technology. They're still stealing my technology. So trying to get rid of those agents is going to be a nightmare. Yeah, Ita owns a lot of land. These guys are like largely united against me, even if they're not directly fighting me. Teclas alone is a nightmare because he's all over too. Therein lies the challenge. It's not like playing in the old world where there's just a bunch of land so you can sweep over them so easily. It's really not that hard to sweep over your foes in the old world. And here, oh boy, they can take lands all over the map. Oh yeah? I mean, that's fine if you want to do that. That's you planning your own demise. Ah, oh, shit. Lose armor or... Wow. Either way, got a salvage. All right, I'll take it. Jim is back. Our Lord Jim. <laughs> it's a great name. Alright, Mad Dog. We're going to bring you in now. Yeah, coming down here is probably the biggest mistake, I think. I could even leave that location. I do get 910 income from it, so that's a decent amount. But if I move down and begin to conquer through, then at least we can unite this area. This one I don't really care for too much. If we defend it, sure. If we don't, then forget about it. I'm not going to worry about it too much. That's just too much work for me. All right, so you're already decreasing upkeep. Very good. What are we going to go after now? We can go after the Tomb Kings real quick. I could help you. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go after the Tomb Kings real quick before we go after Itza. That's how we're going to do it, I think. We're going to hit them pretty hard, push them back, and then we can worry about other things. All right, so I do like the Karenade. There's a few issues I have here, like not having corruption. So we'll want corruption. My madness is not weak, eh? I mean, I'm already fighting them. Easy enough. I'll take it. Alright, that's going to decrease the issue with my public order. Alright. We can go after that other location too. So Mad Dog Marty can actually move further down. And he can just begin to move right through here. That's going to be the goal. All right, yeah, upgrade that to a whip staff. Then we can get our ships of will. A simple pull and ring system allows the Hellzone to control the tiller from the deck. Cool. All right, so let's have a look over here. Sam Jenkins at level 15. We're going to give you... 
Let's have a look real quick. Lucky charm, tenacity. You're not immortal yet, which I hate. I want you to be immortal, but... Okay, so if I leave you alone for now, I could just burn that down. We could move you up north. You could begin to fight Cyclus up north. That would be more useful than going after Itza. So I could actually ignore Itza for right now. So I have walls at several locations, just not all of them. The altar of the old ones, they're doing fine. I suppose we kind of have to, don't we? Let's go in. We'll just go in, burn it down, leave. Itza might actually rebuild it. If they do rebuild it, okay. It's more important for me to actually maintain control of the capital areas and then expand from there. The bombers, I'm not really too keen on. I might actually replace those. Yeah, I'm not really too keen on them. I've got my gunnery units, but I'd rather have flying units instead, so I might actually do that. We might get some flying units. I haven't actually used a lot of them. I wanted to use them a lot in my fourth army, but I can't afford a fourth army yet. All right, so we've got a bunch of towers. How are we going to approach this little tiny location then? Well, first off, we're just going to go in and hit everywhere. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to flood them with a bunch of units. I'm going to have some... You two can't climb the actual wall, so you'll wait back here. All of you can climb the wall, though. The little bloater, he's going to go out to the front gate and do some damage. He's not able to actually climb walls, so... <laughs> unfortunately, he can't climb walls. Mortis, you're going to be over here, too. You're going to hit what you can. You two will be in your own group. All right, let's go in right now. Go hit everywhere. Mortars, if you just want to hit over here, they have light armor. You can do that. My gunners and bombers who can hit or climb, go do that. Rotting Prometheans who will come into the middle. I might actually blow them up. Leave them alone, you bullies. Ah, oh, shit, they got them. My poor little friend. Okay, what are we going to target? Valyrian Reavers? Nah. Yeah, they got them. Bunch of jerks. You know what? Screw you, Noble. I'm going to hit you. That's what you get for hurting my little friend. All right, we'll go hit them before we actually go to the front gate. We'll hit them with my towers. I mean, that was the point of having towers to freaking begin with. So we'll do that. Mortis is doing a lot of damage to the archers, even with their light armor. Their light armor can't do a lot, so eh. Yeah, deck gunners, if you look at it, can't actually climb on the walls. It's unfortunate, but they've got their little crew, so it, I guess it kind of makes sense. Are they, like, shooting fish out? <laughs> oh, look at that damage. Not bad. I'm going to heal them up. Won't mitigate all of it, but hey. I don't usually go in for all frontal attacks, but it feels good to have all that I have right now to actually land on the wall everywhere so we can actually do some serious damage. All right, come over here. My little gunnery crew. I know you're doing your thing. Everyone's about to land. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Check it out. They're done for. Bye-bye. Actually, mortars. Let's have you go after these reavers. They're gonna be annoying. I can already feel it. Come over here real quick. Running Prometheans, you're just gonna take some damage from me. Deckhands, if you wanna move up. Yeah, yeah. You're already taking a lot of damage, pal, so we gotta move you maybe like over here. It doesn't really matter too much. Just come over here. I'm gonna use Alt to target one location, which is here. Alright, come on down. You come on down too. I know there's a lot of them. Just go hit them now. Okay, another attack. Let's go after. I wonder if that actually damaged a noble decent amount. I don't actually know if it did. We should try it on another leader, just to check it out. It does follow them, so we're going to do that. And help that group again. Let's go check out if it does a lot of damage. I mean, like a little bit, yeah. I heal them up over here, and I'm going to buff them up. I've got the magic for it, so we're going to do that. They're very strong. Alright, they've got their ward up now. It's a very powerful ability. Now they're able to hold on. They're killing more and more Silver Helms who charged in, so no wonder they took a lot of damage. All right, come on down. Let's go fight. Actually, zombies, come over here real quick. Let's go up. I'm going to let him just keep on using his magic for now. And Mortis, go back here to attack. Get more enemies to hit. I've got bombers who are moving up. They're going to start bombing. Yeah, all of you just kind of go into guard mode. 
hit things as you want to. Come over here, go kill more Lothan Sea Guardsmen. If you're not fighting, you should be. No, we're fighting now. It's just going to be a bloody one. A very bloody one. Oh, you guys are still alive? Cool. Yeah, finish off the Silver Helms real quick. You guys come over here. I'm going to have our leader come onto the wall now, I suppose. We'll go attack them. Attack their leader. What is it still going after these Illyrian Reavers? Now we're bombing some of their friends. Look at that. <laughs> Those effects actually are not that impressive. It's just kind of like a little firecracker. At least they're falling slowly. Slowly but surely. Oh yeah, these guys are taking a lot of damage. I need to go help them out, don't I? Yeah, here you go. Take that too. Mortis attack over in the middle. Get some zombies coming in. We're finishing off that noble. Oh, you guys are attacking me. That's cute. Okay. These mortars haven't won yet. You know what? Go hit them instead. Just go kill them. Mortars, I'm gonna... Yeah, you're up there attacking. Rotting Prometheans, come on down. Haunter, or Morgul. Haunter. Come over here. Alright, he's fighting. He's fighting now. Go heal up these Death Guard, because they could use some help. They're fighting a prince. He might need to come down to help them again, but anyway. Here you go. Here's a buff. Go try to hit them. You got it. As for those of you who are left, like Sirens, go in. Push in on who's here. The Death Guard haven't pushed them back yet. They're actually holding on quite well. Good for them. I mean, they had a lot of infantry. That's the truth. It's just a matter of time. We're trying to get all these guys together so we can go kill them. Once we break open the front gate, we'll get in some rotting Prometheans to help out. My Death Guard actually cannot beat that Noble there, so that's going to change up now, I think. Let's go get them. Rotting Prometheans, you too. Come on, let's go. We'll go get that Prince. Oh, now things are kind of changing, aren't they? Yeah. Hi there! <laughs> oh, I didn't do too much. That was like a love tap. Come on, pull a creepy carry on them. That's the way to do it. Healing them again. How much more can they be healed by? A decent amount, yeah. I've already healed them a lot, if you look at that. Dear God. Oh, a great eagle. Gross. Very gross. Enemy Lord is dead. We killed him. Alright, let's come back here now. Gotta quickly come back here. They're beginning to waver, so it looks like the battle's over. We've won the battle. The battle's been won. So we're gonna burn down this location. Sometimes I have to, like, audibly say things out loud so I don't forget. It's just a good way for me to remember. So they had a garrison, a lord, and one white lion's a crace unit. You think they would actually have a lion unit too to supplement? This isn't the god's victory. We do not it's fear mine. death. Ooh, punishment. I like that. Admiral of the fleet. All right, buddy. Let's get you to move away now. Ooh, there's a lot that you can pick up. Dear God. There is a lot for you, pal. Okay, what am I going to get you, though? More deck gunners. I haven't really used a lot of animated hulks. I mean, they're very low in armor. We're fighting a bunch of uh, very scary units right now. So I don't really want to do that. Bombers alone. You need, like, a few bombers for them to be truly effectual in a fight. So I'm not going to do that either. All right, so let's go ahead and grab, I think, instead, some more Sirenes. We just want, like, a very bulky unit. Look at that. Charmed, huh? Very nice. All right. At your level, we're going to give you... Let's have a look real quick. Forager. Do I want that? Nah. Smuggler. Yeah. Campaign movement range is king in my view. It's my favorite thing to utilize. I can just move everywhere. So that's been burned down, so we don't need to worry about that now. We can just move away. We can use Luther Harkin and Mad Dog Marty to conquer these lands. I'll have Luther come this far. I might actually have Luther move over here to the dwarves and just beat them real quick. We can actually move through that. I would need my army over here to actually move up north to go handle Teclas. He's going to be kind of a tough one. I, mean, I need to give you like a Rotting Leviathan or a Necroflex, dude. You got to have like something that's going to change it up. It's going to be expensive, sure, but 
All right, yeah, we want that. We want a cannery shed. That way we can use that ability whenever they come to attack me. That's always very handy. All right, let's go look at public order real quick. The only unhappy locations are those who are not united. Sipatuan, we do not have. Capes, we do not have unified, but I'm not going to try to unify them yet. I'll lose some money, sure, but I've got other goals right now. And Clan Moors, are we trading? I don't actually remember. We're not. We should be. You're tier two. I'm tier four or rank four. Oh my god, look at how many factions I'm fighting. Good lord. Yeah, they like me a bit. I don't have a lot of trade goods. Huh. What a shame. Okay, Maggie Blackstell, where are you at? She's still over here. She's still not where I need her to be. Let me have a look over here. Uh, we could have you go around, I guess. I wonder if that would be closer. Yeah, that might actually be closer for her. We're going to have her go that way, cross over land, hopefully not get hit by an enemy agent, then go through here. I've explored a lot of it. Here's your shitty capital. Yeah, so what I can do with extra money, I'm going to probably build buildings that will spread corruption because I want to even have a little bit of corruption by the time I, I get out there. Then I won't have to worry as much about corruption. Um, maybe on the capital, I'll get a building for getting their income. Of course, they're going to break down eventually, but with that long cooldown, it'll take time for that to truly be of a benefit to me. Yeah, Teclas beat the Blue Vipers, spanked them. Eats is like right in the middle, and they're going to be a nightmare for me. Hopefully, they actually rebuild that location I, I burned down. Himri is now fighting Karak Zorn. Okay. Followers of Nagash finally destroyed. That's pretty wild. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I want to see my enemies and what they're doing in case they ever move around here. I just want to see. I need, I need to know. Because we're dealing with a lot more of a front line than we were before. Before, we didn't really have much of a front line. Now we have a huge, huge front line. It's really kind of scary. All right, Mad Dog Marty. Let's bring you down, buddy. Yeah, look at that. Now I can just begin to conquer through. Okay, you do have walls. The dead. I'm a little bit worried about auto resolving. I don't want to lose an entire unit, so we might have to fight that out just briefly. Oh yeah, look at that. Another five percent gone for upkeep. But keep getting that for like all my armies eventually we'll be able to afford stuff. You should be okay, right? Yeah, you made it. Occupy, confident besieger, very nice. Feather foe torque, very nice too. Alright, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna get rid of that building too. We wanna make sure that everyone's happy. We're gonna conquer these last two locations. Is not oh yeah, take that. More corruption, more everything. Level 30 for Creepy Carry. Very scary Creepy Carry. Let's give him Ravitous Attack. He gets him a little bit of that uh, Missile Resistance, which is pretty good. Tracy Monford, you need to go heal up now. So we're going to bring you over here. Yeah, you can enhance a bit of that Public Order issue that we have in the local area. Up north, I don't see Teclas yet. I have a feeling, though, eventually we're going to see that dude. Yeah, build that up. We'll have more leadership. Enemy agents will have a very tough time up there. They're not really up there. They're harassing my other armies right now. But hey, hey, hey. Let's go look over here and go into battle. Because I've got Necrofexes and a Carronade. Ooh, the big issue is going to be their ability to summon in Ushabti. Oh, God, I hate that ability. Especially when you're, like, fighting, like, two to three stacks. Oh, my God. They'll, like, summon in, like, two to three of them just in the middle of your units. Oh, fuck me. That's rough. Yeah, I haven't fought Tomb Kings in a long time. I wonder if, like, Undead are by far the most popular types of factions in Total War. Because they seem to focus on them a lot. So I'm guessing they've got to be, like, the most popular ones. All right, let's have a look real quick. I've got Necrofexes and things, so we're going to hit over here. Just right over here. All right, you three will go tank some damage for me. Here, go join them. Deck Gunners, you really can't do too much from where you're at. My little bloated friend, you're going to go in to uh, try to blow up their gate. The rest of you will be back here. It's a pretty simple army. I, I like the format for it because of that. All right, let's go attack right here first. That'll be one at a time. Get you to kind of go close to them so that you can buff them up. Give them more accuracy. So we're going to fast forward. Just for right now. Let them attack. We nearly have it. His archers got him. 
I gotta stop doing that, but it's a great distraction. Let's go over here now. Oh my god, they were still firing volleys. Holy shit. Alright, I wanna damage not your horsemen. I'm gonna go after your Nehikara warriors. Those guys are pretty rough. Alright, let's try to hit their skeleton archers. I wonder if we could do that. That would be interesting. Eh. Not a great chance to, so let's just go after what they have. Alright, let's um a few up. Give you more ammo. Very important that we do that. 18 shots now. That's a lot more. Look at that range damage. They had like a very high range damage for a period of time. That was really nice. Let's go heal up our leader now. That's one wall gone. Let's go break down the gate. Yeah, we're going to deal some damage over here. Oh, those warriors took a lot of damage. Let's go damage them again. I'll buff you up. What a great way. You could have like more than one gunnery Why you just let your guys keep on going. You took a lot more damage than I thought you would. Did he use like magic on me? I didn't actually see. I could have like missed something completely, which would be funny if I did. All right, heal them up. They didn't lose any lives. That's like the positive part. All right, that gate is open. Let's go break open this wall. Buff him up too. We have one more to utilize. Great way to just get rid of all of them, right? All right, let's go hit this part of the wall. I want to have a few of them go to like the main square. All right, let's go heal up more warriors. Oh my God, they're all patched up now, aren't they? Almost done. Yeah, help him out. Good work. Okay, now you two are done attacking like that. Just come over here. What did you use? It was one of their buffs, right? I don't know. All right, you're done attacking. Now we can begin to move up units. So I want this squad to move in. I want Mad Dog Marty to go join them. You too. Gunnery White, you'll go there. The rest of you will come over here to fight. Until we're gonna do it. My deck gunners can't really do too much. Not in a siege battle. Field battle's great, siege battle's not as much. There would be too much, nah, just fooling about. It'll be way too much. Go heal up my sirens. They're in range. Can we restore it? We did. We did restore that one. Cool. Alright, let's bring in the sirens now. Let's go bring in my death guard. Here and here. Alright, then we want all of you to move in with my leadership. Necrofax says I want you to move in just for the hell of it. Yeah, let's get over here. We'll go help out. I think that'll be cool. So now we have dead on dead action again. Oh my god. But oh, we're so much better. That charge was beautiful. Actually, fighting the Tomb Kings early on would be fairly comical, I think. Look at how shiny we look in comparison. A bunch of bony boys from an ancient empire are not doing well. Now we're behind them. Oh, you got archers. Okay, that's cute. Close range shooting? That's terrifying. All right, come over here. Come on. Ooh. Look at who's coming in. Guess what I'm bringing in? Pole arms. Pole arms will go help out a lot. Yeah, they should actually get some kills. Move up my deck gunners in case I just want to bring them in. All right, let's go over here now. We've got a bunch of things to go kill. Start attacking. Start attacking. Who needs more ammo? He does? Yep. Go give him that. Use your bombs. Oh, you can't use it right now? Yeah, you can't use it right now. I suppose not. Yeah, heal them up. They need the love. You'll go back and heal them up. Actually, why don't you overcast that real quick and heal them up? Just move back. All right, Ushabti, we gotta go kill you. Let's go bring in the pole arms. Sorry, where? Oh, right, over here, okay. Time for a close range battle. Go deal with them, more ghouls, you'll come in. Between all of you, you'll easily take them all out. Except for you, you're coming over here to come help out. Should have had you stay over here, but it's okay. All right, I should go after these two shops now. It's like 13 left, not bad. Let's push in. We have them surrounded. Seven kills, boo. One lost control. 
Okay, are we done killing everyone? No, no, we still got to fight a few more. The horsemen are holding me back, it looks like. Yeah. Come on in, buddy. Let's go. The shot to you still fighting me, but... What, what can they do? <laughs> oh my god, point blank shooting. I just fucking love that. It's so cool. Get back over there. I wanted a few of you to move in, but that didn't work out, did it? No. Are we done here? Almost. Then we can go after other units. You'll focus on that Tomb Prince. He's killed one. One entire unit. Yeah, these Ushops here are holding on to me, so more goals go fight them. Necrofexes are nearly done fighting them. They're gonna fall apart anyway, so meh. Meh. Just move away from them. Ignore them. I told you to move. Get moving. Look at all these archers. Did you get kills? Not really. Alright, let's go in now. Everyone moves over here. Yeah, dead gunners have insane range, at least. I probably could have brought them in for some damage, but eh. Let's go hit these archers with a bunch of our cannonballs. All together they fired, that was beautiful. Eh. Go into melee, you got it. Oh yeah, they're all super healed up now. We're still fighting though. It's kind of a grinder because we're fighting Ushapti as well. Alright, I'm gonna heal everyone here now. I feel like my heals go so much further. We take so much less damage as a Vampire Coast faction. It's pretty great. Yeah, my poor Morgul's took some hits. Everyone's moving in though. Necrofex. Oh, hello. Carrion are moving in. I'm gonna be hitting close range. Okay. Here, you go kill that. You go kill these dumb birds. Oh, a bunch of dumb birds. How scary. By the way, I'm behind you. Let me go look at her ability. Nope, not back up yet. That's okay. I probably could have brought in some drowned dead, but they weren't doing enough damage to me for me to worry. I got my Necrofexes out here fighting. They're not great in melee. They're not meant to be. They're not meant to be great in, in melee at all. So if you actually go up to them and fight them for a bit, yeah, you'll be all right probably. All right, battle's over. We won that. So now we have another win. No, I mean, I really had to think about how to isolate my enemies, and I think my current plan of operation is just so much better than just trying to conquer every location willy-nilly. So you'll have to trust me, even if you disagree with it, I think, personally, it's a much better plan than over overextending. Let me drink some coffee. I'm getting all the time tied now. Early in the morning, man. Okay, decisive victory. What are we looking at now? An occupation because I'm actually conquering. Yeah, keep that garrison, that's a good one. We'll keep that. That'll give me some money back too. All right, so we did everything that I think I can do. Wendy DC Legs is over here. I actually have to click on her or it'll just go back to my leader. Bribery, yeah, we'll take that. I don't want agents annoying me, so take that. Then we gotta go after this location. Then we have to just keep on moving. Okay, Dust Gate, Golden Colossus, that's probably like over here somewhere. We can. Fortunately, hold all these locations. It's so nice having like suitable climate. The mountains are not suitable. Ooh. Ugh. There's a gold mine. I might actually just break that down later. I don't know if I want to deal with that right now. Yeah, I might have Luther just burn them down for now. That would take a much longer. I mean, we're already taking a long time to even pacify what we do have. So while there is like money that you can make from that. Mm. Also, I think gold mines are a little bit different for us, right? I'll have to check it out at Chupayotl. I don't think I actually built a gold mine there. I'll check out the building browser then. Yeah, I chose to fight a new faction. Terrifying. There's Lothurn doing their stuff. Oh, God. Nagaron, what are you doing, man? How are you losing? You're getting the shit kicked out of you. Is Teclis over here or is that Mazamundi? No, it's Exiles of the Heck. Oh, okay. Is that Masamudi? Yeah. He's still alive somehow. Alright, they took Slaver's Point. They're not going to get that much further, though, with that type of army. I'm by far the Pirate King, though. I just need to go get the One Piece now. The Deadwood Sentinels. Still out there. There's a lot of minor factions I did not anticipate. Illyrian owns a lot of Lothurn, too. I don't want them to combine. The elves would be terrifying if they all combined. 
All right, so I didn't build that gold mine yet. Let's go have a look at it. If it is, let's see here. Yeah, look at that. Gold mines are actually not worthwhile. Okay, so it's different for the vampire counts. They're actually really shitty. Wow. They should have like some type of campaign benefit because having 150 gold is not worthwhile. Yeah, I could just upgrade my plunder pile and it would just be better. So now that we know that, meh. So gold mines are not worth a shit. So yeah, I'll just burn it down. Fuck it. Are you ready to go fight or? Yeah, you're about ready to go fight. It's like you're thick boy. Now we control the entire area. We don't have it. Cool. Let's get that public order up. There we go. Yeah, I do want that stuff, like a haunted mill, and that's all great, but I gotta work on things that can spread corruption. And a public order, so we're gonna get some more corruption. And some more public order. I'm gonna maintain the peace here. Alright, then I want you to come over here, my dear friend, Luther Harkin. He's gonna go kill some dwarves at Thrice Cursed Peak. We'll burn that down. If we can actually get a peace treaty with him after hurting them, then that would be great. If not, I'll deal with it later. All right, so over here, they're very unhappy. Let's go grab that Effigies of Undeath. Still got some more money. You're still alive. Yeah, yeah, cool. No one's coming up here yet. Cool. Are we going to have a big rebellion here? Yeah, potentially. But uh, let's go grab those for more public order. How bad is it? Minus three. That's not too bad. So, yeah, we should build a... Just move on now up north. I'm going to let him go fight some armies up north. He might not be able to win outright, so I'm probably going to have him stop by our home province. We're at 8,000 income now, so that's really, really high. Yeah, they're unhappy. The cool complaints are unhappy, but that's going to change. There's going to be a big rebellion here. Yeah, let's go look at that garrison. That's a really good garrison. That should be able to handle things. Depends. I mean, if it's like a vampire count army, then yeah, we can definitely handle things. All right, Mad Dog Marty, what are we looking at, pal? What you want? <laughs> I'm going to give you... Let me have a look at you real quick. Let me go look at uh, your character. I could just do this. I always forget about that. That's for your whole army for melee. Yeah. 10% physical resistance. Holy shit. Check that standard. You got a sort of strife. Keep that. You don't have a shield. That wouldn't do you any good. Who's that for? Sam Jenkins? Ah, no. You're going to be in melee more than Sam Jenkins. I'm going to tell you that right now. We need more money. We're at 8,000 income. That's fantastic. What about you? All right. I forgot to actually give you your fucking ability. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look real quick. Freebooter. I don't want you to have that. You buffed up your army already, so I'm going to buff you up in melee just a bit. It'll take time for you to truly develop, but we'll do that now. All right, blunderbuss for you. Your range is now back to where it should be. And we can now end our turn after Maggie Blackcell moves. Oh, the dread fleet. It's a lot of rotting leviathans. He's only level 16. Luther Harkin is already at level 40. He's having a great time. He's like, yeah, I'm Luther Harkin, baby. I'm having a great time. If I was an undead pirate, you would know me at sea. In the middle of the night, you would just hear a very quiet, ha-cha-cha. -cha, and then you would be like, oh my god, it's him, the dread pirate. Yeah, I would be a dancing pirate. Hey, Ben, do you hear that? What do you mean, Gary? Ha-cha-cha. -cha. Oh, god. Henry's now fighting the scalings, the dread fleet, and clan Morris. Ooh. There's a war going on in the Southlands. Really cool. Well, well, well. Let's now get ready for more battling. The churning Gulf Raiders. A few rebellions will be coming up very soon. Mad Dog Marty, he's going to be ready to fight this king. Oh, that's going to be a big one. He's also got a bone giant. Oh boy, that should be a fun one. Yeah, take that. Because I just want you to be able to... 10,000. Shit. It's a lot. But upkeep goes down. 
Easy enough. I really lost anything. That's fantastic. I'm going to sack it. Then I'll come back and then burn it down. I wouldn't be able to burn it down right now. Nope. Gotta wait. Very well. We'll come back. Replenish just a touch. Trusty Monford, you gotta come back real quick, buddy. We gotta get you to go. Patch things up. I might actually have you go get that skull reef for me, too. All right. While we're waiting, I'm gonna have uh, two toes Adley. She's a legendary lord, and I need her to try to level up a bit, so we're gonna let her do that. I'm losing a lot of money right now. That's all right. Take your two big boys. So over here, we'll take that, too. We're gonna have a... Rebellion down here eventually, but Luther Harkin's pretty close by, so that's nice. Um, can any of you upgrade anything? Ship upgrades, are they a thing? Not right now, okay. Probably need more money for that, yeah. So go take your walls. And yeah, we're gonna have him go get some new units too. Uh, upkeep goes down by 5%. Yep, take that. Might as well move closer to the Blood Swamps and then that later but uh yeah that's gonna help me lower my upkeep further the biggest goal that i have is to lower upkeep so that we can get another army and we're done for right now so thank you for watching leave a like and comment down below if you have any tips or advice for me let me know huge shout out to all of my patrons who've been supporting me and don't forget patrons if you want to name a character you can do that on my discord so make sure that you check that out too and look forward to more parts later and as always until then